Hello, I'm Mike Russell from musicradiocreative.com. In this video, I'll show you how to route multiple tracks to one track in Adobe Audition CC. So here we are in the multi-track view. You're going to need this view to work with multiple tracks. You can't do it in waveform. And I've got three tracks from a Zoom recorder, uh, a podcast in a foreign language here, track one. There's speaker one, track two. Speaker number two. Speaker number three on track three. So that's one, two, three. Uh, now, why would you want to route multiple tracks to one track? Uh, well, often we want to add the same effects to each track. And it would be pretty boring to go through track one, add the effects to my effects rack, track two, add the same effects to my effects rack, track three, add the same effects. Again, this is just waste of time. And Adobe Audition is very good at saving you time. So this is where we go ahead and add in now our bus track. Right click, track, and we're looking to add bus tracks, not normal audio tracks, bus tracks. And in this case, I'll sum them all to mono in a mono bus track. And you'll see there it is, bus A, I can jiggle it, move it around if I want, move it down there, move it up here. I can even get rid of the empty tracks that I don't need, track, and then we'll delete empty tracks like so. So now we're left with track one, two, and three, and our bus, which we'll actually rename to be voice mix. Okay, so now we need to get all of these tracks into this track, which are currently not in that track because there's no audio there. And it's really easy to do this. You simply go in and change this left pointing arrow from master to your bus track. There we go, voice mix one, voice mix on track two, voice mix on track three. These tracks go to our voice mix and our voice mix goes to our master and the master goes to our default output, which is of course our sound card or audio interface. Let's check what happens now. And even over here, every single track is summing into this track and now we can add our effects to this track. So if I want to go ahead and add some filter and EQ, parametric equalizer, there we go. Something a little bit different. Then I want to add some really nice, for instance, multi-band compression. Let's do that. Let's put on the broadcast preset. That's pretty harsh. Probably too harsh for a podcast. But you'll hear that those effects have all been added to the bus track, which is super, super handy. You don't have to do it three times, only once. And that's using a bus track route all your tracks through to that bus track and then apply your effects. It really is as easy and simple as that. Music Radio.